all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Today I'm going to be doing the next five stages, stages 17 to 21 of the fan home release, I build the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet. So in stages 17 to 21, I think we're going to be continuing with the farm. If you remember that last time, I mean, check the size of that thing out. <laughs> so we're going to be building onto that in this one. Uh, the reason I haven't looked through the magazines yet, though, is because we've got two posters. Now, the pros of these posters is that it's absolutely brilliant posters. Uh, the cons is that they're folded. They're brilliant posters, but they're folded. I hate folded posters because they're really hard to get the crease lines out. But uh, I'll give you an example of what these posters are because they are massive you've got this one here from infinity war let me uh fold this one back up i'm sure we got posters before as well i've got some uh four ragnarok posters uh earlier on i can't remember if it was for this build though a bit confusing and then this one here is avengers endgame poster and again i'll open this up and that looks like that there i just uh oh, i hate crease posters Years ago, back in the 80s, hark at me going on with my monologue, you'd think it's a live stream. I used to collect movie posters, old retro movie posters, and it used to be a, a, a disheartening thing to see fold lines in them. They need to be rolled. Uh, but that was the free gift in this one. It's all about the gauntlet today, though. If you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down here to the Fan Home website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But I'm going to jump straight into it, so without further ado, let's get cracking. So, stage 17. This is the magazine. Let's have a flick through. do like showing you the magazine. As you can see, we are going to be putting a panel onto the thumb here. It's just this panel here. I believe that is all we're going to be doing in this stage. So this is going to be a nice quick stage. You can see what I mean about how big these magazines are. These are collection items in themselves. And bringing the thumb over, all we're going to be doing is putting this section over this large area here. So it's gonna fit in just like that. Now we wanna ensure it goes underneath this bit of the thumb here, and it's in line and flush here, and on the other side just here. We are gonna hold this in with a screw just through here. And that's one of these silver self-tapping screws. So just through this main hole at the top, get that all the way in and with that in that's all there is to do in that stage which leads swiftly on to stage 18 here's the magazine you can pause the video so you can see the pages that I'm turning uh, we're still working on the thumb here so we do have a plate to put over the section we just put in there. So by the end of it, it's looking like that. There. And again, the magazine does continue with more of the uh, comic version of uh, the Avengers, by the look of it, and Captain America. So stage 18 parts look like this. Let's get that out. And the first thing we're going to do is you can see we've got some magnets in here. This is going to be housing one of the infinity stones. We do have some brackets to put in here. Now they're going to go in this way and they're going to stop those magnets coming out. Because obviously the force of the magnets against the uh, op opposing magnet is going to try and pull these out and break the glue. But these little brackets here are going to stop that happening. Now they're held in with the black screws that come in this pack. These just go into here. So we've got one there, and just one on the other side. <laughs> As you can see, that's perfect. So let's do the other two. And there we go, they're in place. So this is going to be going into the thumb section that we just created here. We're going to be lining up these four holes with this section. So it's following the same contour around that metal section there. And once again... I've got these black screws that we're going to be screwing this into, into the four holes that we can see here. So they're going to go in here, like this. So that's one. And I'll do the other three. So this is the last one going in here. 
I am using my PH1 screwdriver on this build rather than the PHO. I just find it easier to screw these in, but that's not going anywhere. So the last thing to do is we're going to be taking this other bit of armor plate here. This is going to be going onto this section just here. And we make sure again that it's going underneath the plate in the middle there, lining up like that. So it clips in, it looks just like that. And then once again, taking one of these black screws, I'm going to be screwing that through the top just here. Get that in nice and tight. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 19 again, here's the magazine. Keep turning. I'm guessing we're working on the thumb. We are, we're up to stage nine of the thumb now. Again, another bit of armor pa panel to put in, clip to put in so we can put this over that knuckle section just there. So it looks like that. And again, this is the end of the magazine. So with this one, as you can see, another massive piece of armor here, looking like that. We do have a clip to put in just into that cavity that we got there. That's gonna go in like that once again. I'm going to use one of the black screws, which I still have one left over from last time. I'm just going to be putting that into here. It is going into metal, so I have been putting these in oil, even though I haven't been telling you I've been putting them in oil. And there we go. That's that clip into place there. And then all we're going to do is bring over the thumb and put this into place over the top, and it's just going to clip in like that. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? So we've now got a thumb, which is able to articulate as you can see there pretty cool but that is all there is to do in that stage so the penultimate stage here stage 20 i'm guessing we're going to start mounting that thumb we are i know we're working on the knuckle protector now so we've got a knuckle protector put to put in we're going back to what we've actually done on this section just here putting that into place so it looks just like that. And again, I will show you the rest of the magazine. There you go. Excellent. And this is what the knuckle protector looks like. Now, every stage you've been seeing at the moment is all metal. How crazy is that? Okay, what we're gonna do is bring over this side of the Gordner, which I already had uh, one of the time zones in here. So you can probably see we've got three lugs, one here, one here, one here that's where these are going to go on top of the three lugs i've got here and it's going this way round. so when we put them over it fits on just like that there now i'm holding that in with these black screws that come in this pack i'll put the middle one in first because if you do the middle one first it pushes the whole part onto the other lugs there i apologize if you hear any barking I've got three dogs here at the moment because I'm dog sitting one of them and obviously we've got Millie and Bella, my other two. And uh, the weather's incredibly hot outside so they're outside chasing pigeons or something, I'm guessing. <laughs> Let's get this last one in. Perfect. And when they're in, it should look just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So that leads us on to this last stage of this pack, which is this one here, stage 21. This is the magazine. And again, we've got another knuckle protector just there, which is just gonna go onto the other side of the gauntlet. And again, I'll show you the rest of the magazine looking like that. I really did think we were gonna mount the thumb in this stage, but uh, we're not. So exactly like last time, this is A23 metal part. I'm just going over the lugs here, like that. I've got a screw here. Make sure that the middle section crosses over the piece that we've just put in as well. Get this screw in. And again, if you do the middle one first, it will pull that whole part down. And then we've got two more screws either side. And that's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. But I do want to kind of figure out how this is going to go. So we do have these connectors here on the thumb which i'm guessing they're probably going to go over somehow the two points in here i've got no idea how perhaps into there there's like a sheath for it to go into here i think that's probably right actually so if i put this in here and i might be able to show you 
kind of how the, the thumb is going to sit. As you can see, I've got that in there like that. I'll put this bit back on in a second. The other side of this will be lining up over the other side here. Kind of like that. <laughs> and then just on the base of the thumb, we're going to have the uh, time stone here, which will be magnetically connected to this section just like that. If I turn all the stones on that I've got, and I'm going to show you this on the main camera. It does look good. Even though we haven't attached the thumb yet, that's how it's going to look. Look at that. <laughs> Compared to my head. Oh my God. <laughs> but that looks really good. There you go. Let me gently put that down. Perfect. If you like what you see and you want to get this for yourself, once again, I have put a link down here to the Fan Home website. You can get this all the way from Pack One. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.